It's the question of a lifetime. How does Watterson do it? How does he manage to consume a grotesque amount of calories, run at unfathomable speeds, warp in the universe itself, change the amount of muscle and fat in his body in under a day, a feat which has Olympians rolling in their grave, and most importantly, carrying this channel. It's a simple answer for how Richard Watterson manages to accomplish all these tasks, and it has to do with him lacking brain cells, no insult intended. What others would perceive as a so-called hindrance, this lack of brain cells is perfect for Richard Watterson, a talent which shuns out all naysayers and allows Ziz's reincarnate to change the world. I cry, Although Richard is just starting his journey, and he's not even close to his final message. Now, let me elaborate further on what I mean by so-called lack of brain cells. It's a common reality for many when studying to know everything but forget it all on the tests because your last two brain cells are busy doing god knows what. Well, what if I told you that these last two brain cells are all that Richard has? And because of these last two brain cells, he's able to accomplish tasks well above the level of an average human. Now, to further elaborate, when I say last two brain cells, I mean it more as a figure of speech, not a reality that Richard literally has two brain cells. What Richard does have, however, is a lack of critical thinking, which is the exact thing he needs to become who he is. Now, I'll quote Bruce Lee here, because this quote applies way more than the average person may initially see. The quote goes, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. In a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Martial artists' adroitness comes from their ability to empty their mind, their ability to focus on a single task or object. This sharpness and clarity in their thinking without being interfered by the thoughts of their mind is what makes them the icons we see today. The same applies for Richard Watterson, although in a very different sense. You probably see where I'm going with this, but the basic idea goes back to what Bruce Lee was saying about water. Richard Watterson lacks a mind. He is empty, devoid, able to focus on a single aspect and that's it. Richard's strength lies in his ability to devote 100% of his mind to a single task allowing him to achieve the ungodly feats he has. Two very clear-cut examples of this principle of deep focus to achieve meaningful goals can be shown very plainly in an episode where Richard is set on achieving the secret menu item from Joyful Burger and going from covered muscle to Greek god in a day. Starting with the Joyful Burger incident, for some context for those of you who don't know, Richard was challenged with a predicament where he either consumed a burger from all 22 Joyful Burgers in Elmore all under an hour nonetheless, or suffer the consequences of never knowing the name of the secret menu item burger from Joyful Burger. Of course, our hero takes on this struggle and with no surprise to the viewer, except in those last critical moments, do we see that Richard does indeed manage to complete such a grotesque task, sparing none of his organs in the process. Now, choosing to delay the in-depth explanation for why this is such an amazing accomplishment and further proof of our firstly stated hypothesis, I'd like to backtrack a little bit and choose to also take a look at the journey required to accomplish the task, which can then help give a deeper insight into the two brain cell power. Laying no time to waste, the map shown is the map of all joyful burgers across town, taking an average time for an hour to complete the tasks, and then further taking a look at the crossed off locations on the map step by step to then determine the total distance traveled taking a suburban block to be around 274 meters, we can deduce that Richard managed to break every single traffic law in existence, not get caught, and was going at 30 kilometers an hour on an average with a perfectly efficient route and system. Aside from that, being able to guzzle down 48,400 empty calories in the span of an hour is something guaranteed to kill the average person. But alas, the Olympian of lard, Richard, isn't an average human. Now, coming back to the two brain cell power mentioned earlier, the extreme dedication and concentration Richard uses to accomplish this task is what Bruce Lee trained for. Albeit, the use case for the two brain cell power is different in both scenarios, we can approximate them to be basically the same thing. 
The two brain cell power is what creates leaders and what allows Richard to accomplish superhuman tasks. The ability to focus on a single task without getting distracted by anything other than the thought of completing the task at hand is the very mindset and power we should all strive for. A mindset which allows you to accomplish superhuman feats, especially coupled with the powers already gained from this special time of year. This too brain cell power doesn't just show up when Richard is trying to get all the joyful burgers, but is also clearly evidenced whenever he simply has a drive to achieve. The very key to unlock and activate the two brain cell power is simply the desire to achieve and accomplish something. Due to Richard's lack of other brain facilities, he is literally unable to deviate from this task which gives him his extreme focus, dedication, and drive to accomplish the task his two brain cell mind is destined to accomplish. The second and final example of this two brain cell ability of Richard's is when he becomes reincarnated as Ziz. Richard's reincarnation as Ziz doesn't just happen magically like some fitness influencers would have you believe. Richard didn't buy any program or take a magical pill, but what Richard did do was have extreme dedication and concentration to his craft, only possible through the power of the two brain cells. Without these two brain cells, Richard's brain would be actively resisting him, getting fit, and instead of having a buff Waterson, we'd have a Waterson who's bulking. It's clear from the montage the extreme dedication Richard showed when training. Similar to Bruce Lee, it's a fair comparison to make that Richard's two brain cell power is that which Bruce Lee talks about when he quotes being like water. The two brain cell power is remarkable, and it very well is the thing which opens the doors for Richard to achieve greatness. The extreme focus he brings to his craft without the ability to be distracted by petty things is evident from his ability to have a lack of, or should I say, ability to, reserve his cognitive processing powers for a single task. Unable to focus on other items, dedicating his full 100% concentration to a single item, without focus on any distractions.